My name's Perna, and I'm gonna tell you about the worst bloody holiday ever. I was at the Royal Palms Resort on Benoit, working as a bodyguard for some asshole CEO. I figured once he left the island, I'd have a good week to relax on the beach, enjoy a Mai Tai or two. But no, that wasn't to be. As I woke up one morning to discover that the goddamn zombie apocalypse had arrived. A local lifeguard by the name of Cinnamon saved my life. And soon after that, I discovered I was immune to whatever this plague was. I met a few others who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States. Logan, an ex-football player and full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit on him. And Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. And from there, things really went to hell. The army tried to contain the infection, but they were bloody useless. Benoit itself was totally isolated. It was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who flew us out of there on the colonel's helicopter. We were off that goddamn island at last. And everyone we tried to save back on Benoit? Well, they just didn't make it. Except for that little native girl, Yerima. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to finally find a safe haven. Get your hands off me! What the hell? What is going on here? Uh, get off me! Uh, get it off me! Get it off! What's with the cuffs? Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Hardy. Don't resist and you'll be fine. We just need to be sure you don't pose Man, a threat. we no threat. The threat's on Benoit. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. 
Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. The two others will come with me. Lab? Uh, hey, do we look like goddamn guinea pigs I'm to you? I'm a citizen of the USA, man! I got motherfucking rights! Back off, Serpo, but just stay out of it. <laughs> Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Pelanoi, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors? Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here. They have a very high tolerance, Mr. Serpo. I've already administered three doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Just be careful. We don't want them dying on us. What about the native woman, Yerima? That's a more complicated case. She's being taken to another location. Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye. God. Oh, my head. Oh, what the hell happened? The motherfuckers drugged us. Who are you? Hey, we're talking to you. I'm nobody, really. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. What? They plant you here to spy on us. <laughs> right. That's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all immune to this. How'd you get here? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So. Right. Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All I know is there's a naval blockade around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Christ, I'm still woozy from these bloody drugs. Where's everybody else? They take him while I was out? Been to hell and back. Now I'm locked up in this ship. Fucking great. This is Colonel Hardy. The ship's been compromised. If you're down in the hold, I'm opening all the cell doors. Alright, gotta find a way out of here. Hope this tub has some life rafts. Those assholes were everywhere earlier. Now they're gone?
There's gotta be something around here I can use as a weapon. Everyone's dead, you moron. Okay, the way should be clear. Whoever took care of that, you deserve accommodation. You just saved a lot of lives. They're already here. Fucking shit's getting old. Help me! Okay, 
Gotta get my ass out of here. Something good in here? You. I'm not dying here. Going down! Oh, come on! More water? Piece of 
shit off me! We're in the middle of a hurricane!
bag is going down. Open a can of whoop ass. Just leave them here, they're civilians! If I were you, I'd worry about your own survival, Colonel! Zephyr! You! Get up here! Captain! Come in! Captain's dead, soldier! To the bridge! Yeah, we've got another problem! We've got company! <laughs>
stay here and lock down this area. Corpses. Hey, hey, wake up. You all right? Ugh, Jesus. What happened? The ship. Get up. The ship's dead in the water. Can you walk? I'll give it a shot. Where am I? Pal and I. But it's really not safe here on the beach. There's an infection. Some sort of plague. Seriously? <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. The whole island's gone to hell. Out of the frying pan, into the goddamn fire. We'll talk later. Right now you need to move. Head for the Paradise Survival Camp. Look for the big treehouse. You'll find other survivors there. Take this. In the meantime, I'll see if anyone else washed up on the beach. was a disaster. You need to get patched up.
Hmm. Anything good in here?
Thank God you're with us. I wasn't even supposed to be here. Oh, thanks heaps. Those monsters nearly caught me. Yeah, I heard from Harlow that you were coming. Oh, thank God. We beat them back. That was close. I'm glad you made it. Oh, thanks heaps. Oh, Jesus. I thought we were goners. Where the hell did you come from? That piece of shit boat we were on sunk. You know, we need to talk about that bridge. It's funneling those things right to us. You're not telling me anything I don't know. The bridge is our bloody weak spot. We've got some fences. Maybe securing the other entrances will slow them down. But I need you to put them up. Can you lend a hand? You got it. Ah, I appreciate it. Grab the rolled fences and put them up in the designated spots. Am I glad to see you? I wasn't even supposed to be here. Ah! <laughs> 
Bloody hell, that was close. It's truth. I was hoping it wouldn't come to that, but they would have overrun us. Now, the fences are working, but you were right about the bridge. We need to blow it. It's too dangerous. Take this flare gun and use it to ignite the barrels by the bridge. Explosion. You blew the damn bridge? Was that really necessary? Well, thank God you survived. Yeah! Now I owe you something, motherfucker. Get up, you son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, I owe whoa. you something, too. Apparently, you've all met. I know what it looks like, but I swear to God, I meant you no harm. That operation was out of my hands. It was Serpo. So who was he? He works for a private concern. His superiors own my superiors. And they're the ones calling the shots. I'm sorry for what they did to you, but there's no way that he... What exactly are they doing here, Colonel? The rumor is they're trying to weaponize this plague for use as a bioweapon. Being immune, my guess is your blood is essential for their research. You knew this, yet you did nothing to stop them. I'm a soldier. I follow orders. Well, soldier, here's an order for you. Go fuck yourself. Just listen to me. I can help you. There's a military outpost in Henderson, and I know the commanding officer. They have food, water, weapons, and a way up this bloody island. Last time we trusted the army, they threw us in a cage. Look, I understand how you feel, but we don't have much time here. This island, it's about to be nuked. Nuked? Yeah, we heard that same story on Benoit. You know, bombs fell there. Are you sure about that? This would explain all the air traffic recently. Choppers flying out with equipment crates. That's right. They have to cover up what they've done here. And once they're through evacuating the island... They're dropping a bomb? Listen, I trust this asshole about as far as I can throw him. But if what he's saying is true... We, we need to get out. out this goddamn island. Fuck me. So, Henderson it is then. If that's the case, then we're all coming with you. All right then. Let's move. Only five of us are immune, so some of us should stay and defend the camp while the rest scout for a way out of here. Good. Let's get to it. All right, Colonel. But if you're lying to us, God help you, because we sure won't. Hi, come here. It might be worth speaking to Harlow. She seems to know all about the island. I need your help. Finding a boat is probably the smart thing to do. But we should stock up on supplies first. I mean, who knows how long we'll be out there fighting those things. Can you bring me a few things? How can I help? If I can electrify the fences, those damn things will fry when they run into them. But I need a power source. Cables and batteries should do it. Will you bring me some? Yes. The cables are in a shack not far from here, and the batteries are at a camping site.
I used to run a lighthouse, you know, before this, uh, this bloody mess started. Listen, we need to talk. You and Hardy don't like each other very much, do you? He threw my ass in the clink. I almost sank with that ship. That's not gonna cause any problems for the rest of us, is it? We've got enough to worry about. Don't sweat me, understand? Now how do I get to Henderson? The jungle's flooded from the monsoons, so I think the only way is by the sea. One of the other guys here is from Halai, and he says it's a fishing village. They should still have boats. Once you get one of them, it shouldn't be hard to reach Henderson. When are you leaving? Sure. Good. The sooner you get to Henderson, the sooner we get out of here. As you can see, we each contribute to the team's safety and well-being with our own particular talents. If you bring us the right supplies, you can take advantage of our talents too. Thank God you came when you did. A lot of people have been dying around. Have you thought about checking the beach? Will you How can I help? You should go down and check the beach. Something from that wreck ship might have washed ashore. Something we can use. You should go see what you can find. Yeah. Bless you, but be careful, okay? There are a lot of those things out there. Thank God you came when you did. A lot of people have been dying around.